Hello, I'm back with another first impressions video. Today we're talking about Cabernet. And if you remember back on my vlog video from a couple weeks ago, I did a big sort of shopping trip where I picked out two uh, Pinot Noirs, two Zinfandels, and now I have two Cabernets. And this is sort of the last video to finish up the wines that I bought on that shopping trip and sort of do my final first impression videos from that specific trip. Again, these were all wines that I um, had recommended to me. I just sort of put a shout out on Facebook. I was like, hey people, what are your favorite wines in the sort of $10, $12 range? And I got a bunch of responses and so I picked up a bunch of them online and these are the ones I got. And um, so let's get started. First we have another Bogle wine. Now I did um, a Bogle for the Zinfandel as well, which I really, really liked. And Bogle came recommended from a couple of people. They're actually um, a um, vineyard that you can go visit, so I might try to go out there and visit at some point. Um, and so I'm very excited to try this. Really, really love their Zinfandel. Very nice. Um, so excited to give this a go. 14 hands. I've seen this. I feel like you can get this a lot of places, but it was recommended by a couple of people. Um, I think it's pretty popular. Uh, so we're gonna give it a try. Um, yeah, I got some horses in the front. Horses are cool. Uh, this one, some birds. We got birds, we got horses. I think, I think we're in good shape. I think we're in good shape to try some wine. So let's open these puppies up. And yeah, so this is a 2014 and this is a 2013. I did go on the website. I didn't mean to point this at you. To go on the website and I did look up um, what the descriptions are from the websites, uh, their websites. So for the Bogle website, um, here's the description. This Cabernet leads with notes of dark cherry and plum. This deeply exaggerated fruit wraps the palate in richness, followed by touches of pipe tobacco, new leather, and dark chocolate. I don't really know that I know what new leather tastes like. I've definitely heard that described in wine before, and I'm still kind of trying to figure out what that taste is. Uh, so that's still something that's kind of new for me. Um, the other interesting thing that they said on this on the Bogle website was that enjoy now through 2026. Don't know. Could I wait nine years? I think I could. So for 14 hands, um, they said it is a rich, juicy red that features aromas of dark cherry, black currant, coffee, and subtle hints of spice. These flavors are complemented by a touch of spicy oak emphasized by soft tannins. Oh, the other thing too, which I really appreciate on the website is they actually have um, pairing suggestions. One kind of thing I want to say about about pairings though is that you kind of have to just go with what you think tastes good. I mean, you can go with suggestions, but like sometimes I'm having something to eat and I just pick up whatever bottle I have at home and I end up trying that dinner or whatever it is with a bottle of whatever and I end up, it ends up being really delicious. And actually sometimes I appreciate trying things, trying bottles with food that kind of doesn't go that well together because then it's like you learn something. You're like, oh, well that doesn't really go well together and then you don't do that again. Um, so I don't know, I don't, really take the pairing suggestions too seriously, but I do think it's nice when they have them on the website. So um, for the Bogle, they suggest uh, ribeye steak with blue cheese butter. I'm not a big fan of blue cheese, but okay. Um, roasted egg eggplant with provolone cheese, dark chocolate mousse with fresh berries. Now that is right up my alley. And they did mention that they had flavors of dark chocolate in the Bogle wine. So then in the 14 hands, they suggest tomato, basil, bruschetta, eggplant parmesan, herb crusted prime rib, grilled beef steak, and hearty venison stew. And all those things sound really delicious as well. So now that we have a bit of information and we know kind of what to expect, let's, let's open these up. What do I want to do first? I think I'm going to do the bogle first. Um, as kind of usual, the first thing I can really smell are like the cherry and the berry and the fruity smells. Um, looks dark, but not too dark. Ooh, 
you total when you put it in the glass and you swirl it around, air it out a bit, you can totally smell the pipe, pipe tobacco. First of all, I like it a lot, very much, but I'm really, really trying to taste that new leather and I'm just not getting it. I'm just not getting it yet. But it is very nice. Very well done. I would really like to see what that tastes like in, 2020, in 2026. Good find. Thank you, Bogle Vineyards, for being delicious. So let's open up the 14 hands. I'm a little, a little concerned because I really liked that one. I'm hoping I, I sh I'm not, I didn't, you know, save the worst for last or whatever. I shouldn't be so mean. I'm sure you're delis delicious, horsies, 14 hands winery. I'm sure you're delish. All right. Anything on the back we should know? Uh, oh, here we go. 14 hands celebrates the spirit of the wild horses that once roamed the Columbia River Basin. 14 hands, 14 hands in height, these tough little horses were revered around the world for their strength. The terrain that once gave them endurance and spirit now feeds our vines. Our 14 hands wines share the soul and intensity of this unbridled freedom. That's actually really nice. Okay, let's smell. Hmm. Let's pour it. I mean, I'm getting some sort of, as always, like the sort of fruity things I always smell in the beginning. But let's, um... Hmm. So, instantly I'm not liking it as much as the Bogle. But it's really not bad. Another really good suggestion. Um, definitely getting some more spiciness. I see where they're, what they're saying with the coffee. It's, it's not as good as the Bogle, in my opinion. But again, that's, I mean, every palette is different. Um, I'm just, it's just not as, as rich as the Bogle wine. Um, but I don't mean rich in a heaviness sense. I just mean sort of like the leave and it's just not quite as good as the Bogle. Like if I had to pick one, if I, if we were going to supermarket and I was like, Bogle or 14 hands, I would probably say Bogle. Um, but it's really not bad. And if you love 14 hands, like by all means, continue with it. That sort of concludes this sort of first um, go at First Impressions wine. Um, again, I would recommend picking up either of these. I think they're both, as I said, I see 14 hands everywhere. I think they're both pretty readily available at places, um, you know, any liquor store in your area, but I'll also link them um, where you can buy them online if for whatever reason you can't find them. Um, yeah, like super impressed, really happy um, with both of these and I'll be enjoying them, enjoying them throughout the next couple of days. And then at the end of the month when I kind of do my final wrap up on all my favorites, I'll kind of give you a number rating. Um, you know, uh, I kind of do like a one through 10, like one being I don't like it at all and 10 being it's one of the best ones I ever tasted. Please subscribe to my channel and like this video if you liked it. Um, also leave a comment below. Let me know um, what's your favorite Cabernet in the $10 range. Maybe I'll feature it in a future video. Uh, thanks so much for watching and I'll see you guys next time.